everyone. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, taking this opportunity to join me. Um, of course, this is my first video, so do uh, bear with me. Today is February 16, 2016, Tuesday. Um, again, uh, this is my first video, so do bear with me. Um, the reason for this particular video course is uh, in regards to being born again and what it is you need to know, okay? The uh, past few days, I have felt extremely led of the Lord to do this. I haven't even done any of the other videos yet, and he's already given me so much on what he wants me to talk about. But uh, this particular subject today, of course, is going to be in regards to being born again. And the reason for me doing this video, of course, is what it is we need to know in regards to being born again. Being born again is key to having eternal life, okay? And that is the most important thing of all that we need to know for those of you who aren't saved. Um, of course, for those of you who may have a Bible, feel free to turn there with me to John chapter 3. We're going to have a look on that, of course, and what does Jesus have to say in regards to being born again. Um, first and foremost, what is it to be born again? It is to be dead to our old self, okay? It is be, to be dead to sin and alive in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, okay? The old self has gone and the new has come. But uh, Jesus tells us again in John chapter 3, verse 3, Verily I say unto thee, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again, okay? He is saved. He ha you have your name written in the Lamb's book of life. Well, you're probably wondering by now, what is it to be born again? As I said in 2 Corinthians 5.17, for those of us who are in Christ, you are now a new creation. But um, Nicodemus also asked this question, of course, in verses 4. Replying unto him, well, how can a man be born again when he is old? Well, that is a good question. What Jesus replied in verses 5, I tell you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and of spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. But you should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. Okay. Well, what is it we need to know in regards to being born again? Well, of course, we know that you have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are given the Holy Spirit the moment you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Okay? And as I've said before, you are now dead to sin and alive in Christ. The moment you confess with your mouth, according to Romans 10.9, which says, whoever confesses with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believes in his heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's not a matter of you might. Well, he needs time to, time to uh, think about this. No, you are saved. Okay. It's just that simple, but you must believe. Um, with that being said, of course, um, we know that Jesus is the only way. Okay. There is no other way around this. If you are, you know, if you are looking for someone to tell you that there are more than one, if, that there's more than one way to get to heaven, why don't you go listen to uh, what Oprah Winfrey has to say in regards to that, okay? Um, because if that's what you are looking for, you have tuned into the wrong channel, okay? Let's just uh, clear that up right now. Uh, Jesus says, to his disciples in John 14, 4. No, I mean, in other words, we have no excuses, okay? Just so that, you know, we're clear on that particular subject. Jesus tells his disciples in John 14, 4, you know the way to where it is I am going. And then again in verses 6, I am the way, okay? Acts 4, 12 tells us that salvation is found in no one else, okay? Um, and uh, we know Therefore, that Jesus is the only way. There is no other way around this, okay? There is no other way to heaven but through the blood of Jesus Christ. And um, with that being said, of course, um, let me just finish it off with saying that, of course, we are living in the last days. So many of us know this. Um, and there's so many of you out there who are still struggling with something. 
Um, there's so many of you out there who are still in darkness, not knowing where to turn. And uh, all I can say is to give your life to Jesus Christ, okay? It is important. I mean, it is extremely important that you have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life if you wish to have eternal life. Jesus, uh, well, Scripture goes on to tell us in Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, okay? There is no life in death. There is only life through Jesus Christ. He tells his disciples in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, okay? So uh, with that being said, um, give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Ask for his forgiveness. Um, and uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. Of course, uh, do stay tuned for more videos. Um, they will be coming as the days go by. Um, as, a, as I said again, I felt extremely led of the Lord to do these particular videos. Um, I haven't even done them yet. And of course, he's already put so much on my heart in regards to doing these videos. And um, again, um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, God bless each and every one of you, of course. Uh, feel free, again, to hit that subscribe button. Um, I love you all. Again, uh, thank you all so much. And uh, God bless. <laughs>